Hey guys, so as you can tell by the title, this is going to be a November favorites video. I've never done a favorites video before, and if you're new to it, it's basically what I've been using in the past month that has like caught my eye, I'm completely obsessed with it. Um, little disclaimer or little side note here, um, none of this stuff is sponsored, and what I mean by that is um, other videos, um, you see a lot of makeup artists do these favorite videos, and usually a company you know, pays them to say something nice about their product even if they haven't used it before. And I'm just letting you guys know that this isn't one of these videos. Literally everything here is something that I've tried and that I like. And just letting you guys know, so maybe you guys can try them out. I don't know. But let's get this video started. So first we're going to go through skincare, and then makeup, and then clothes, shoes, journals, all that stuff. Okay, so first thing for skincare is these Mario Badescu products. Literally every single one of these is Mario Badescu, and once again, I didn't get paid for this post or anything like that. I've been using this honestly the pa the last week of November. So this last Saturday, um, I decided, you know, I'm done. Um, I contacted um, Jasmine Garcia. I texted her and I was like, you know what? Your skin's flawless. If you haven't seen her skin right here. Yes. So this, honestly, this is what she suggested to me and I took her suggestions to heart because her skin's flawless. I explained to her my situation, like with my skin. She said that it sounds something that like happened to her. So she thought that these would work out for me. And honestly, within three days, I'll put a before and after picture here because I was honestly surprised. My skin just calmed down. I mean, of course there were still breakouts that like were there before because they're not just gonna magically disappear. It takes time. But the redness went down, um, a lot of spots went away, it was just awesome. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you've heard me complain about my skin probably a couple times. It's because I never really had breakouts growing up at all. So it was kind of like took me as a shocker when I had a little like breakout and I freaked out. Um, I started like self-treatment. I took my other friend's advice, like for her, like shade moisture worked and so I was like, it'll work for me too and I put it on and my skin just got so sensitive to it. My skin was like inflamed like an inch and I like didn't know that it was because I was allergic to the stuff or just had a bad reaction to it so I kept on using it because I thought like my skin was just getting worse and that shade moisture would help so honestly it was a huge like storm of crap honestly just down upon my face like it was awful I still don't know what broke out my face I've had a set like schedule a set routine um, before bed and when I wake up every ever since I was like 13 so I don't know what caused this to break out but honestly I don't think I'm ever gonna switch these products ever um, right here I have the um, Mario Badescu special cucumber lotion um, Mario Badescu acne facial cleanser um, the vitamin C serum which basically takes away like any like dark spots you have from like old scars or anything like that and um, an oil-free moisturizer 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 with SPF 30 sunscreen that's why it's not like sunscreen yeah but yeah this is what I use within three days the difference was huge my skin it just honestly like it calmed my skin down and I can't be more thankful because you know it's not the most important thing in the world like I'm sure like some of you guys are like skin really Elizabeth but to me, like, it's very important, and it makes you feel more confident, it makes you feel happier, and yeah, so this has helped me tremendously. And that's not in order. I use acne facial cleanser, then the special cucumber lotion, then the vitamin C serum every other night, and then I put on the moisturizer. But yeah, that was something that I really wanted to show you guys, because if you're having the same problem as me, and it sounds like we have the same type of skin, I can't guarantee that this would work, but honestly, it worked for me, and I'm so thankful, and I'm so happy. Whew, you have no idea. The next product regarding skincare that I really want to show you guys are these false eyelashes. If you watch my old videos to now, you probably noticed that my eyelashes have gotten longer and that is not because of extensions, it's not because of some serum that I put on my eyelashes to make them grow, whatever. It's these eyelashes. And I know that eyelashes, like, they don't really matter to some of you, but to me, it I feel like it's important to show you guys this brand right here because number one, it's cheap. Number two, it's cruelty free. And number three, it doesn't look cheap. A lot of the eyelashes that you can buy at like Ulta or something like that, there's a piece of hair. There's some Oscars hair on the camera. Thank you, thank you. A lot of the eyelashes that you can buy in store are, they look fake, they look cheap, they look just, they look kind of trashy. They're as natural as you can get, but then again, they're not too natural to the point where it defeats the purpose of false eyelashes. I love them, I would suggest them to anybody, just this brand in general. Um, very soft, very light eyelashes. I love them. Now, the next thing for skincare slash makeup is this Boxum palette. 
Um, it is, this palette is the May Contain Nudity Eyeshadow Palette. And honestly, it has all the colors that I would ever plan on using, ever. And I believe Boxum is cruelty free as well, if not vegan. I'm not sure, I'll look that up and put it right here. I would highly suggest this because honestly, I'm kind of, after finding this company, um, you can basically create your own palette. And it's pretty cool because look, these just, these kind of come out. These kind of come out like this. And if you run out of one, you can just pop it out, go to your nearest Ulta or wherever sells this palette, um, buy the color that you're missing or even a new color and just pop it back in. And you know, without having to buy a whole new palette. I'm kind of done buying palettes now. I'm just going to stick to this because honestly, the pigmentation is great. It's not too strong. Um, it blends really well. It's just... It doesn't um, create those, do you know what I'm talking about? It doesn't create creases. There's not a lot of fallout. I like this a lot. I think it's kind of superior to other eyeshadow palettes just because you don't get the same color like twice. Honestly, in there, every single color is distinct. You can use it for different things. It's not like, you know, if one missing, like you can use another one to substitute it. That's why I like it because it's plain and simple. I believe there's only six eyeshadows. Yeah, there's only six eyeshadows and they're all the eyeshadows that you really need. Um, I'm not a professional makeup artist. Um, I doubt a lot of you guys that are watching this video are professional makeup artists. So why buy a bunch of colors that you're not even gonna end up using? And I don't know, this is great quality. I would highly suggest it. Okay, moving on to gym clothes, my October favorites, October. I just missed a whole month. My November favorites, Jesus Elizabeth. This is college life, honestly. Finals week has done this to me, oh my God. Another one of my November favorites are the Gymshark Flex Leggings. They're the ones with the lines throughout the whole entire legging. And honestly, these show off all the right places. Mm, they do magical things, honestly. And you know, my favorite one, you know, even though I just said that, my favorite one would have to be the black one just because I don't know, I just really like how it's a black legging but it's like breathable at the same time. I have no idea how to explain it, but my favorite color out of the whole entire flex legging range is the black or the light blue. Honestly, I love them so much. And along with the leggings, another one of my favorites, if you watch my Gymshark haul, you already know how obsessed I am with these um, form-fitting, they're like running long sleeves, but y'all know I don't run, but I still like them because they're really cute and I wear them usually for casual wear if I'm like just going to the store or something. But yeah, I really like those. The next recent obsession I've been having lately are with um, NMDs and I'm sure you've seen me post about them numerous amounts of times in my Snap story or on Twitter or on Instagram. But honestly, these shoes, um, the NMDs, these actually sold out within like 10 minutes. I was actually very lucky to even get them. They're like coming out with like 20 like different pairs like in December and all of them like honestly look so cool. Honestly, I wish I had enough money to buy all of them. But the NMDs, boom. And just boost material shoes in general, as you can see. Like see that little white? I'll show you guys up close. Okay. So this is the boost material. And it's basically, you're just walking on a cloud. Honestly, they have them in the Yeezys, like on the bottom of the Yeezys, but now they kind of, you know, expanded it just from the Yeezys and they put it in this, the Ultra Boosts. And honestly, they're beyond comfortable. I have kind of forgotten what a comfortable shoe feels like just because I have a lot of flat shoes. I have the Adidas Superstars, I have the um, Converse, and honestly, they're pretty flat, but these, oh my God. It's like walking on a cloud, but Little side note about these, these are the Adidas Pure Boosts and it's kind of weird because it happens to my boyfriend in his Adidas Ultra Boost but like our feet kind of fall asleep. Like if you're not walking around and you're kind of just sitting down, your foot literally falls asleep in these shoes. It happens to my boyfriend too so if it happens to you too definitely let me know but because I don't want to seem weird but it happens to me just in these shoes. It doesn't happen in the NMDs. It's kind of tight when you put your foot in there, maybe like your foot just I don't know, gets choked down, falls asleep. I have no idea. But either way, your foot is falling asleep in comfort. You know what I'm saying? The next shoes are not really fitness related or anything like that. But if you watched my fall haul, you know about these boots. I got them from Target. Um, they're still on sale at Target for like 30 bucks, I think. And honestly, Target has sales every single day because um, Christmas is coming up. So every single day they have like a new sale running or something like that. But these boots, honestly, I 
I just fell in love with them. The second I saw them, I was like, you know, I need to have them. And it was just a pure impulse buy, and I don't regret it one bit. They're the perfect height. They're higher than regular combat boots, which is great. They're not over the knee. They're slightly under the knee, for me at least. If you're taller, it'll be a different story. Or if you're shorter, it'll be a different story. But um, these fit, like, right under the knee. They're gorgeous. I honestly love them. Honestly, when my mom saw them, she was obsessing over them. So for her birthday, I got her the same exact pair of boots so she can have her own pair. I think what I like most about these boots is definitely the color because, you know, they're not, they don't look too new. They're not like a perfect brown. And also they're not that, I don't, I personally, no offense if you like it, but you know that orangey kind of brown like it looks it looks orange it looks like a pumpkin i don't like that color at all and honestly boots either come in like new brown or in that pumpkin color but these honestly they're like a they're like a hazelnut and i'm i'm not even hazel who am i i don't even know who i am i don't, I don't want to say stuff like that but they're that kind of color and honestly they're comfortable they kept my feet warm in North Carolina. Of course, the weather was like 60 degrees, 50 degrees, and for me, that's freezing. So if you live up north, I'm not sure how these will really keep you warm or not, but honestly, if you double up on socks, they're worth it, I promise. I just realized literally all the stuff that I showed you guys is so random. Is this how a favorite video is supposed to be? I'm sorry, guys, this is my first time. Just testing out the waters. Let me know if I did this completely wrong. The next thing that I've been obsessed with for the past month or two even, I've been really obsessed with them recently, are sassy t-shirts. Honestly, I think you've seen me wear them in my Instagram, in my Twitter. I don't know why, I just love the shirts. I'm actually wearing one right now and it says got chill and on the back it says zero chill. These are honestly the shirts that I live for now. I think they're so cute. Um, there's actually two different places where you can get these kinds of shirts and I'll put the pictures of me wearing these like all over the screen right now. But um, one place you can get them from is Own Weekend um, or Oh Mighty. I'm not really sure because their Instagram handle and their website are two different things, but I'll put it somewhere here. Um, that's where I get one of them. But it's kind of expensive. Whenever I buy them, I usually make sure that they're having a huge sale because it happens like once every two months. But I recently just found, um, thanks to my friend Sam, I recently just found a other Etsy website that sells basically the same exact thing that Almighty does or Own Weekend, whatever, but at a fraction of the price. Like honestly, this thing would have usually cost like 40 bucks at freaking Almighty or on weekend but this costs like 20 on the Etsy website and the Etsy website is wild black sheep I'm pretty sure honestly though I love the sassy shirts it kind of just portrays your personality or you know what you want to be perceived as in a shirt and honestly I think that's so funny um not a lot of people have those kind of shirts so it's definitely unique okay so this is the last item on this random selection of things that I've been using this past month. It's a Start Where You Are journal, and I've mentioned this in a previous video where I was talking about how I deal with um, stress and I try to juggle all my things. And honestly, um, since then, I've used it a couple times, actually more than a couple times, I've used it like maybe five times. And I get a couple pages done every single time. And it's basically, it gives you kind of exercises where you put things that you're thankful for, or you put your troubles into it. But the way that this journal helps you get your thoughts out, it clears your mind and it really lets you have a new perspective and look at your problems as if they're not really that big. It kind of puts everything into perspective, which is why I really like this journal. And if you're having a hard time, like, with stress, with school, um, whatever. I feel like this is a great thing to just invest in. It's really nine bucks off of Amazon. And it's Start Where You Are, a journal for self-exploration. And I would definitely suggest it. It's worth the nine bucks. You write all your feelings down. It really helps you like just relax. And it helps you put all your thoughts down on paper, which really makes you less overwhelmed with all your problems. So I would definitely suggest this it has made me happy it has made me cool calm and collected you know so i would definitely suggest this that is the last thing on my list once again i apologize if this was not what a favorites video is supposed to be like if it's supposed to have some kind of theme to it but this is honestly makeup skincare clothes shoes 
um, doing like a journal. Honestly, this is all the stuff that I've been kind of obsessed with for the past month. Hopefully some information in this video helps you out. If you have the same problem with skin, hopefully the Mario products help you out. If you have, you know, a problem with your arch hurting, hopefully the shoes help you out. I don't know. Remember, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you dislike this video, comment down below and let me know why and be nice about it. If you don't follow me on my other social media yet, um, I'll put my information at the end of this video. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. Thank you guys so much. If you want more videos like this, like tip kind of videos, not the favorites video, but if you want like more tips like this, definitely give this a thumbs up or comment down below. I try to reply to all of your guys' comments, especially within the first day. So if you have any questions, definitely let me know down below. I'll be sure to answer it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Look how much better my skin's getting.